Hey everybody, this is right here, Lisa, coming back to you with another video. Um, this is a video I wanted to do um, when I got back onto YouTube, but other things took precedence over it. But it's about the different scams that are going on. There's scams for rideshare, there's scams for food delivery. Um, customers are calling drivers, they're calling um, the food delivery, and they're saying that they are from chat support and that they're going to give them like $500 and they need them to cancel whether it be the ride or the delivery and that they'd pay them for it. any of these support companies are not going to call you they're not going to say that you've got a $500 bonus and that they need to put it in your account right away for you to cancel a ride shared ride or a food delivery if the, if you're up for a bonus if you're gonna if they're doing promotions and stuff like that you're going to see it in your app. They're going to send you an email. They're not going to call you and tell you that you got it. Now, the newest one that I heard of is a Venmo. Uh, I guess their customers are calling looking for Venmo information. So make sure you don't give out your Venmo, your Cash App, or anything like that. Uh, PayPal information, anybody that you don't know. Make sure you're not giving your phone to any of your riders. Even if they say their phone's dead and that they need to speak to somebody because of an emergency. If you have a phone charger, just let them use the phone charger to power up their phone. Because um, if they, if you if you let them use your device, there's a good chance that they could cash out your money from your device. Now, most people have their voicemail set up. You know, hi, my name is Lisa and um, you have reached so-and-so 555 3636. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure that when you have your voicemail set up that you um, don't have your phone number in there because when these scammers call you, they're calling you actually from the platform. But if you let it go straight to your voicemail, then they're going to have access to your phone number because it's in your voicemail. So make sure that you get it out of the, your voicemail right away. Just be safe out there um, and just remember Nobody's going to ask you for your personal information over the phone. None of the platforms will. They need to get a hold of you. They can get through hold of you through the app or through an email. Um, if there's any bonuses or promotions, they're going to get a hold of you through your app or through um, emails. Make sure that nobody but you is using your device. Do not let anybody use your device, no matter how much of an emergency they say it might be change your voicemail make sure that your voicemail is set up where all it says is that you will get a hold of so-and-so as soon as possible as soon as you can make sure you're not giving out any of your cash app Venmo PayPal information so I hope this ties into um, the video that I had uh, uploaded yesterday about being safe and aware of what's going on um, the only person who's going to protect you is you. So make sure that you keep yourself safe. You keep your doors locked. Make sure you're not giving out any information. And if anything comes across, make sure you call the platforms and let them know. Say that um, you got a call from their support and you have a few questions. All right. And then they'll, they'll know right away that it's a scam because unless they meant to call you. So, just keep yourself safe, and um, it's the only way you're going to bring back that money. All right, everybody, you take it easy. You have a great day, great night, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.